I recently tried out the viral feta eggs from TikTok. They'll draw their food as they're eating it, but I can't do that because I get hungry. <laughs> so I didn't think I was gonna do it, <laughs> but I am actually back on Instagram. So I started this new K-drama a couple days ago. It's called Marry My Husband. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> Dear Diary, I recently tried out the viral feta eggs from TikTok and I had to document it. The one I saw, they fried an egg, but they put feta, chili oil, and then honey on top. And I never thought honey would be good with eggs, but it's so good. And I love putting sriracha mayo on my eggs. So I put that as well. And I thought it'd be kind of weird with the honey, but it's actually really good. It's like sweet and spicy. What I did was I put some feta and chili oil into the pan with some olive oil. And I let it sit there for a little bit. And then I plopped the egg in there and I covered it. I don't think you need to cover it, but I covered it anyway. You don't have to cover it because I felt like I covered it for too long. While I was waiting for it to cook, I was also making my matcha. So the egg wasn't runny like I wanted it to be. I think I kind of overcooked it, but it's okay. It still tasted so bomb. I'm looking at the picture right now, but I lightly toasted some sourdough bread from Trader Joe's and I put it on top of it. I also topped it off with some my favorite herb seasoning. Um, I forgot what it's called. Seriously, when I tried it, I was like, wow. It's like eating a breakfast pizza. <laughs> if you love and eat eggs, try this out. You won't regret it. All right. So I'm just gonna use one page today. When it comes to food, I don't draw it then and there. You know, usually for Urban Sketchers, like if they go eat out at a restaurant, they'll draw their food as they're eating it. But I can't do that because I get hungry <laughs> and I don't like when my food gets cold. So I prefer to take pictures of it or videos of it and then I'll draw it at home. So yeah, I, I don't like Urban Sketching food. It's not my thing. So I have a tendency to like save a ton of recipe videos on TikTok. I even designated like an, a photo album just for the recipes I saved on my phone. And 95% of the time I don't make it. I just save it for a rainy day. But usually it's because I don't have the ingredients or it just seems too complicated, but I want to learn to make it. So recipes like this where it's super simple, I'll definitely do it. But there's this particular recipe. I wrote it down in my Hobonichi one time. It was like a matcha cookie. Yeah, there's a lot of cookie recipes that I've saved. A lot of breakfast ones as well. Like I prefer recipes that <laughs> don't take too much time. Like I can do 20 minute recipes, that's easy, but it has to do with like anything with meat, poultry. Well, like, you know, I do cook chicken recipes, but anything with like steak, um, pork, stuff like that, I, I refuse to make it on my own or from scratch. Oh, there's like a truck outside, it's so loud. Anyway, 
Hopefully you can't really hear that. very sensitive to noise. All right, so I have this picture here that I'm gonna be referencing from. So I didn't think I was gonna do it, <laughs> but I am actually back on Instagram. <sighs> you guys know my thoughts on Instagram, but the reason why I decided to go back is mainly because I want to connect more with my local community and local businesses. Some things that I learned from not having Instagram all of last year was that I really don't need it to grow on my YouTube or my TikTok. Of course, it does help because, you know, across all platforms, if you link your other social media, people will follow that too. So that's one thing I found fascinating about not having Instagram is that I was still able to reach many people and I think also because on my YouTube you guys notice I've been more focused on art journaling and I've known this for some time that you know it's so important to niche down and I was just being very stubborn because I love experimenting and trying different ideas. You know, my mind is always filled with new ideas, new projects and whatnot. And so I'm not afraid to like try something new. But along with experimenting too much, you confuse your subscribers and your followers. So I just had to really ask myself, like, what do I really enjoy doing? Art journaling is it. Art journaling has always been something that I've enjoyed since I was younger. And I want to continue doing it for as long as I can. Even if I don't make videos about it in the future, I still want to be doing it on my own time, you know? But anyway, <laughs> Back to Instagram. I didn't reactivate my old account. I actually made a new one. I just wanted to start off from scratch, start off fresh. And because I haven't been on Instagram for a year, I'm still just slowly getting myself into it. Like I'm not, you know, full on posting every single day. I mentioned last year that if I ever decided to go back to Instagram, that I would use it differently. And I mentioned Mel Robbins' podcast. I think she, I think it was her podcast, or was it just a random video, but she mentioned that your social media isn't for your friends, it's not for your family or your coworkers, it's for you and your creativity. And so that's what I'll be using Instagram for from here on out. Like, Sure, of course, I want to connect with people, but I want to approach it differently. I don't feel like I'm going to be posting as often 
because I still have these feelings, these lingering feelings of, you know, I don't wholeheartedly like Instagram, but I know and recognize that it has helped me in the past with connecting with local businesses. That's something that I truly miss. I remember when I was heavily going to like different restaurants and um, coffee shops and tagging all these local businesses, I was able to collaborate with them and I miss doing that and just meeting new friends. I want to continue being mindful of how I use and what I post on Instagram because I, I don't want to post my personal life on there. It's just more for posting all my art journaling content and reels and whatnot. If you are in, on Instagram, follow me at char.lilyena. Mm, do we have orange? If you're not on Instagram, you can follow me on TikTok. As of late, I haven't been posting a whole lot. Yeah, just posting whenever I have something to share. orange. What has been your favorite breakfast food as of late? Like something that you can't get enough of, you eat almost every morning. For me, it changes a lot. It really depends on my mood. Like there was some <laughs> random time when I was craving cinnamon toast crunch and I ate that for a whole week. And the thing is, I don't eat cereal anymore, but just randomly I felt, oh my gosh, I'm craving cinnamon toast crunch. And I had it with oat milk because I'm, I don't drink regular milk. I feel like I'm lactose intolerant, but yeah, it was so weird. Like I had that for the whole week and then I got tired of it. And then one week I'll have like avocado toast for like a whole week and then I'll stop and have something different. It really depends on what I'm feeling at the time. So since I kind of overcooked the eggs, the edges were a bit crispy, but it was really good. Cause you know, I had some feta cheese surrounding it too. My nephew should be home pretty soon and I have a feeling he's gonna knock on my door. Let's zoom in a little bit. So I started this new K-drama a couple days ago. It's called Marry My Husband. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 
I don't read webtoons, but it's based on a webtoon. And oh my gosh, like I love revenge dramas. It just pumps me up. <laughs> so basically the main girl, she's like in a very toxic relationship, toxic marriage and it starts off so intense so basically her husband cheated on her with her best friend and basically she dies <laughs> and he does have something to do with her death she had cancer and then she died but then she had a second chance at life but that second life she goes back 10 years before she got married and so oh it's so good like she so that second chance um she goes through life differently but anyway yeah if you love k-dramas watch that unfortunately they don't have it on netflix but they do have it on amazon prime i've been watching on drama cool it's very similar to the other one it's like perfect marriage revenge the storyline is kind of different but the theme of it is very similar. able to avoid the mowing of the lawn because usually they do that on Tuesdays but no here they are they knew I was filming and they're like let's annoy Shar today <laughs> I'm supposed to get my period soon so a lot of things have been like irritating me more than usual like little sounds and other things so it's like when that happens, usually I have to meditate more than once a day for me to calm my mind. Because <laughs> otherwise I would just be so hot-headed. Oh, I forgot, I put hummus on the sourdough bread. I love hummus. I actually had sourdough bread, hummus, and avocado with feta earlier. It was really good. Oh, the seasoning. I think it's called Green Goddess Seasoning. My favorite seasoning. I put that on rice. Yeah, I put that on almost any dish and it's so good. favorite part about painting anything honestly but mainly food is the highlights it's so simple but just adding like dots of like white paint to add more dimension I think my nephew's here <laughs> there he is I hear him <laughs> Prepare for some noise, guys. There he is, he's coming up the stairs. <laughs> he's looking for me. <laughs> Where is 
How's the first day of school? Good. Good? <gasps> Did you have fun? Yep. Cool. I'm filming. Filming? Yeah. You gonna have some rice? Yeah, do it. It's splattered. Oh, dang, this is like soaking wet. <laughs> I usually try not to go too detailed with the colors. I feel like adding the liner makes it much better. So, start with the 005. to change the battery on my G7X. I've had this camera for a long time actually. It works well as you can see, but the battery life, eh, not the best. So I wanna eventually upgrade. I'm thinking of actually going with a Sony next time. I've been a Canon girl for a decade now or more than that, but I really want to try out Sony. Here's a random fact about me is I love watching camera reviews on YouTube. Like if I'm looking for a new camera, I always look it up on YouTube and see like video test, audio test, and a comparison. Like I love it so much. So recently I looked up the Sony ZV-1 Mark II and I really want a compact camera so I can just bring it along with me easily. Especially like if I film outdoors or like at coffee shops. I don't want to bring my Canon M50. Also, I've had this camera for a long time as well to the point where the rubber grip on the side is coming out. And that's obviously a sign that I've been using it very well over the past several years. So yeah, I definitely wanna upgrade my camera gear in the future. Also last year, I bought the GoPro Hero 9. I know that's like one of the older models, but that one received a lot of good reviews. So I went with that one and it was cheaper. So I wanna use that when I go traveling or when I do maybe urban sketch videos and when I film at coffee shops. I wanna get the, what is it called? The media pod or media mod. But yeah, that's like an extension. So you can add better audio quality. You know, audio is very important to me. There's a ton of camera equipment that I wanna get in the future and I will get it eventually.
Dude, my mouth is watering just looking at this painting. <laughs> Okay, was that it? I'm in sourdough bread, honey, sriracha mayo, fried egg, green goddess seasoning, chili oil, feta cheese. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, I put all my stickers and stuff in this cute tin. My mom got it from Costco, I think. There was a lot of yummy cookies in here. We ate all of it. <laughs> But I wanted her to save it so I can put all my stickers. All right, I'm trying to look for stars. Maybe I can cut one in half because I want to put five stars here. Except for I give it five stars. Two, three, four, five. Actually, let's just take out the string. I really want to get their new booklet. I went on their website and <laughs> they're so cute. There's one that's dedicated to like the zodiac signs. So you know, I'm about to get that one. <laughs> Let me put the number one. No, seriously, this is like my favorite way to eat eggs now. All right. Oh wait, <laughs> let me 
add a little bit more color here. Like nothing here. There you go. <laughs> All right, so that is it for my journal entry today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do try out this viral feta egg, definitely let me know how you like it. If you enjoyed this page, give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more art journaling videos, subscribe down below. As always, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.